Let's take a look at the latest Max Preps top 25 high school football rankings. We had some movements in the top 10. Chandler's now inside the top five after beating Pinnacle 64 to nothing. Grayson dropped a spot after needing double overtime to beat Mill Creek, while Miami Central enters the top 10 ahead of their season opener against number nine Northwestern in a couple of weeks. We now welcome in our Max Preps, Max Preps experts. That's tough to say, gentlemen. Joining me now, Director of Programming Steve Montoya, as well as National Football Editor Zach Poff. Gentlemen, we had some changes in the top 10 this week, but the best team remains the same. IMG Academy, they hold the top spot after defeating Duncanville and improving to 5-0. and Zach, just how dominant has this IMG team been? Now listen, I might get some flack for saying this, but I strongly believe that this IMG Academy squad is the best they've had in school history, better than that 2016 team that was led by Kellen Mond, Dylan Moses, Grant Delpit, Jamon Osbin. I strongly believe that this IMG team we're seeing this year is better than we've ever seen. And they proved that in Texas this week with a big time win against Duncanville. Going on the road to Texas and winning that big is no easy task. And what J.J. McCarthy is doing at quarterback this year, a five-star Michigan commit, is truly remarkable. He's got a bunch of dudes to get the ball to, led by Ja'Cory Brooks, Alabama commit. They've got the best offensive line in the country, in my opinion. And then you look at what they're doing on defense. I mean, they fly around and make plays, force turnovers. This team really doesn't have any holes. The most complete IMG team I've ever seen. And, uh, you know, they're, they're most likely going to finish the year at number one if they keep playing like they did on Saturday at Globe Life Park in Arlington, Texas, the home of the, you know, old Texas Rangers ballpark. But I, I don't see IMG losing this year. And, uh, you know, they pretty much, they're going to get that number one spot locked up if they keep doing what they did on Saturday. Yeah, and for me, it shows me that IMG is built to win a high school national championship and prep these kids for the next level. I mean, these are kids coming from all over the country to train and go to a world-class campus. I mean, they have 26 players that have three stars or better. Most high schools dream of having one. On the other hand, Duncanville plays by a little different rules. I'm not saying Duncanville is not talented. They definitely are, but they are built to win a state title. We're talking about a team from Texas that is arguably the, the number two team in the entire state getting beat 41 to 14. So to me, this wasn't Florida versus Texas, the bragging rights on Twitter and anything like that. To me, this was just a powerhouse program in IMG playing Texas and, and the Texas team was just on a shorthand there for sure.